I'm Ron and I'm back again, you know, already with another round of sports reviews. Tonight we are reviewing the semifinal of the CONCACAF Women's Olympic Qualifying Tournament. Canada versus Costa Rica. Canada won. Costa Rica nothing. Canada wins. They move on to play the, well, most likely the USA in the final. Does anybody think Mexico has a chance? The game hasn't even started by the time I'm recording this. It'll probably just have started by the time this gets posted. Um, do, does anybody really think Mexico is going to beat the USA? Does anybody think there's a chance of that? Let's be honest. It's Canada, USA. And Canada will also go to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics to play women's football, women's soccer, whatever you want to call it. They're on the women's tournament for football slash soccer, whatever you want to call it. And... Let's hope the Canadian men can do the same thing later this month and get in the men's under-23 tournament. But we'll see what happens there. But at least we got one. We got the women. Which the game, the way it was being played, made us kind of feel like they may not pull this off. Because they were playing horribly offensively. They just couldn't get anything past... Like, they just couldn't get that last pass to get the goal. To score a goal. They couldn't... Play th they didn't play that well defensively or in the midfield. It was Costa Rica parks the bus. They kick it away. Costa Rica gets an okay attack. At least they don't score. <laughs> it wasn't that good of a game for Canada. You think Costa Rica, and the way CONCACAF is, it's Mexico is probably fourth. I'd say the three World Cup countries, U.S., Canada, Jamaica, but they're not going to have... Sounds like their women's team is kind of shutting down operations for a while after this tournament is over, is what I've heard. It's not confirmed, but it's what I've heard. I think Pablo Moore said that on Twitter. Pablo Moore, he said that on Twitter. And, yeah. But, so I guess now it would be Canada, U.S., Canada, Mexico, Costa Rica... Costa Rica is not as good as Mexico. We beat them 2-0. You could say some of the goals weren't as perfect as you'd think. Fine. Go ahead. But I think, to me, I think that Costa Rica is not as good. We should have had an easier time in this game playing Costa Rica. It shouldn't have been one goal in the 72nd, 72nd minute for us that wasn't even great. It was just... Eh, it shouldn't even have happened. It kind of was surprising. Like, it wasn't that good of a game. In the 72nd minute, we'll talk about the goal. Jordan Heidema scores. The play starts out with Ashley Lawrence. She passes it to Janine Becky, who passes it to Rose, who passes it to Jordan Heidema, where she shoots it. She shoots it right into the post. She kind of rounds the keeper. She shoots it right into the post. Then it bounces off and it bounces onto her foot and it goes in. And it's 1-0 Canada. That was a... That that play was trash, honestly. Like, I know it was a goal. We scored the goal. We scored the goal that we needed to win this game. Perfect. Great. Good. But the way that goal was scored was just some, like, yakety sacks in the box. Like, it was like... It was a really horrible, like, goal to score. Both on the defense of Costa Rica. A, goal, a horrible goal to allow and a horrible goal scored by Canada. But who cares? It counts. We score. We keep Costa Rica from scoring in the last 15 minutes of the match. Actually, no. Like, 20-something minutes. Sorry. 20-something minutes. Had to do some math in my head again. I'm not good at math. You know this. Canada re Canada holds on to win the match. Doesn't go to extra time. Doesn't go to penalties. They win the match. We're going to Tokyo. And we're going to the final to get probably curb stomped by the USA. And if we somehow win, I will do a video for it. I will watch it no matter what. Because I... I don't want to not watch it and they somehow figure out a way to beat the USA. That would really suck. I probably shouldn't watch it then, but come on. 
I'd rather watch and see them lose than not watch and somehow not see them win. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to miss them doing something that, like, possibly would be one of the biggest upsets of all time. I know it's not going to happen. I'm just saying that from, like, my point of view. Like, if I don't watch the match and they end up winning Canada, it's probably one of the biggest upsets of all time in anything. Bigger than Patriots, Giants. Bigger than freaking. Did Mike Tyson ever lose to anybody? I could have sworn he did. Like, he had, like, one loss. I know, I don't think Ali had any losses. Like if, like if Mayweather had lost to McGregor, like that big, you know? Like that would be a big upset. I mean, since I'm watching, it's probably not going to happen, but who knows? If they lose like they should, if they lose, not, I shouldn't say like they should, but like is believed. But really, like they should, let's not be too, let's not be too prideful. We know what the hell's going to happen. You could have pride in your team. You can have pride in your country, but you can't be stupid. You can't go and be stupid and be like, oh, we're going to somehow beat the USA. And somebody's going to be like, dude, but you were saying that before the World Cup. It was going to be Canada, USA, and they were somehow going to win. Well, I didn't know they were this dominant. I thought they were going to... I thought... I thought they were so egotistical, the USA, that they were going to screw up. Because when you're egotistical, you will screw up. And I thought Canada was better than what I thought they are now. Because they were 5th ranked in the world. Now they're 8th ranked in the world, but they don't even look 8th ranked. Did you not watch that damn World Cup round of 16 match that I saw? Did you not watch tonight? Did you not watch Mexico? Going into the World Cup, we beat Mexico 4-0. And I thought we were pretty good. Then we lose to Sweden 1-0. And we don't even give a penalty to Christine Sinclair. To, because of the record. And we don't want to care about the record that much. We're there to win the World Cup. If we cared about the record, we actually probably would have went further. Or at least went to extra time. And that game was horrible. So, to say that after the World Cup, I knew what we really were. We're not 8th ranked. We're not 5th ranked. We're not 8th ranked. We're probably, we really should be like 12th ranked in the world. We, are, we do not look like we're the 8th ranked national team in the world at all. It's, it's a matter of a year. Last year... I thought they were like, hey, fifth ranked versus number one ranked, okay, and the U.S. is so egotistical that they may just screw up and Canada will finally get their uh, comeuppance and do what they need to do. Yeah, no. Because fifth and first is pretty close to me. I thought, hey, you know what, they may even be better than fifth. And there have been teams that aren't ranked number one in the world that end up winning the World Cup. I think France was ranked like fifth, and they won the World Cup the year before in the men's. So I'm like, you know what? If France could do it, if France could do it, we could do it. In France, by the way. Nope. Nope. We didn't. We didn't look fifth ranked at all. We didn't look good at all. We freaking beat, like, what was it, Senegal or something? 1-0? That should have been the point where I knew, oh. Gah. And then we lost to the Netherlands, too. I think it was 2-0. In the third group game. Then we faced Sweden. We lost 1-0. And you know what? We probably deserved it. And it just kept on, it kept on going this way. We got curb stomped by Japan. In like October. We beat. We beat San Kitts and Nevis in Jamaica. Like we needed to. We beat Mexico. But not as good as I thought we would beat them. We beat Costa Rica. But looked horrible doing it. There's no way we beat the USA. That's how things have changed. But. But, but, that's the thing. So, thank you for watching. Wait, before I do. Check out the description below. There's still the links for the Australian Fire Relief Cause donations. Links. Donate if you can. Do whatever you can. Let's help make the world a better place. If you like this video, like it, share, subscribe, comment. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. I have a little bit of a riff of old Canada. 
Oh, Canada, our home and native land. We're on to Tokyo, and you can't stop us now. God keep our team glorious and winners. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace.